Hey guys, Chris the Midwest Bass Hunter. I've been saving up some money for a while for a big purchase for kayak fishing. I'm stuck here in the middle of winter. Um, I can't go uh, out and open water fish. I'm stuck ice fishing, which is great, but it's not open water fishing. So I wanted to get this big purchase done. I was able to get it done. Um, and I want to show you guys what that is today. I had a little extra money, so I was able to get some other cool stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Hey, leave a comment on any of the stuff that I show you today and let me know if you think it's good or if it's crap. Um, I'd like to know your opinion on what I got. So, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, just a good fishing channel, man. We just do videos, all things fishing. Um, usually we're out on the water, but we like to do some stuff like this too where we kind of show you what we're doing, what we got, uh, unboxing some stuff, whatever. All right, so let's get right into this. So, like I said, I had a big purchase to make. This is probably one of the bigger purchases I've ever made while fishing, or for fishing. So, um, but I did have some extra money. All right, so, here's what I bought. All right, so I got a few lures here. Um, some of them I got some deals on, other ones, no deal, but I just saw them and I wanted to have them. So let's start off. Um, we got a bunch of these Bass Pro Shops tourney special lures, mostly uh, lipless crankbaits. Uh, I've never used their brand of lipless crankbait, so we'll see how they work. And then I also got a popper. I've heard these are great. And then just a, a crankbait. So we'll see how these run. These are really cheap. These are like two bucks a piece, so it's hard to not uh, hard to not grab some of them. Some of that Bass Pro Shops stuff is is actually really good stuff. So um, one of the other things I got here for crankbait wise, I got a Strike King Red Eye Shad, and anybody who's ever fished with one of these knows that they're awesome. Um, I had one of these in the Sexy Shad color, and I'm pretty sure I hooked into a muskie and. One big head shake and it was gone. But this and three quarter ounce, half ounce or three quarter ounce size, this is one of the best lures out there. I love this thing. Oh, that was not on sale. <laughs> um, all right, so good old chatterbaits. Got a couple new chatterbaits, uh, half ounce size, just a couple different colors, kind of a brown color and a black and blue one. Everybody knows uh, the original, these are the original Z Man chatterbaits. So, there's lots of imposters, and I got some imposters. I'll show you those today. Um, but uh, these are the original ones, and they do work awesome. All right, so one of the things I got today was a Strike King Rage Blade. So this is the Naked Rage Blade. It's got, it doesn't have a skirt on it. It's just like a swim bait. And this is very similar to the Chatterbait. Uh, but it is different. It has its own little action to it. Um, and this one has a plastic blade on it. I didn't realize that. The last one I had had a metal blade on it, but this is plastic. So it comes with an extra, extra swim bait on there. All right, so now a couple of new baits that I've never seen before. Um, this is called the Terminator Shutter Bait. And um, it's kind of like a chatter bait. It's one of those kind of imposters. Uh, I guess you could say, but you pull it like a swim jig and it has like this big blade on the front and that's hooked to the bait with a split ring and then it's got a, snip, a snap on the end that you tie to a lot like a chatterbait, but, um, the chatterbait has like a flat blade and this has like a curved blade. I don't know how well that can, that you can see that, but it's curved. So I don't know. It's supposed to have some different, uh, 
erratic sweeping action, hard pounding vibration, and maximum water displacement. And this is like a bluegill color. That's a perfect color for up in my neck of the woods. All right, so this is the other one that I saw that's a, one of these uh, cheddar bait wannabes. Um, and this is from Booyah. And I really like Booyah baits. Um, they just, they make good stuff. Love their frogs and their spinner baits. Uh, this is called a melee jig, I believe. And this is called a river killer. Sounds dangerous. So this is a half ounce and it's like a swim jig. And it's, I don't know, it's got like a, it's got a blade like a chatterbait, but it's like integrated into the head of the jig. I'm not quite sure, it's different. We'll have to see how it works. It's, it's different, it's, it's got a really big hook on it and a nice looking skirt, so I don't see why it wouldn't do the trick. We'll just see how it swims. All right, moving on. I got uh, some spinner baits. Like I said, I love Booyah baits. I love their spinner baits. This is a Booyah Moonstalker. This is actually the same, the very same bait that I caught my uh, biggest ever PB bass on, largemouth bass, on this bait, six and a half pounds. And uh, I'll put a little link right here to that video. Um, so I had to get another one of these. I used, uh, I only had one, and I took it out last year, and I caught so many fish with it that I actually uh, broke the wire off of it. Uh, and I'll actually put a link to that video right here as well. Um, but that, uh, this bait is awesome. I love it. It's three quarter ounce. It's big. It's heavy to pull through the water. It's got a big blade, big Colorado blade on it. So it really thumps. It's a great lure. Okay, then I got three of these. These are all pretty much the same lure just different color. It's called a Booyah Blade, another Booyah Spinnerbait. Uh, it's just a double willow, 3 8 ounce. Uh, got, I'm not sure what that color is, just like a chartreuse in white. Here's a white one. And there's that sexy shad type color. I'm not sure what they call it. They all have their own different name for whatever. All right, then I got uh, this one. I've never seen this one either. It's not too fancy. I mean, it's just a Spinnerbait. It just has um, these long, the long part of the skirt, like a trailer. Um, lots of different spinner baits, you see that on it, but I've never seen one. I've never seen the one from Booyah. And this one is red, so it looks like it's wounded or whatever. Double Colorado blades. These are hammered blades. Um, half ounce. This should be a fish catching machine. Should be a great lure. The nice thing about these when they have this long tail on them, or like longer skirt, um, it's kind of like having a trailer on them already, so you don't really have to add a trailer to them. So, like I said, Booyah makes great spinner baits. All right, so those are all the lures I bought. Um, not a whole lot, but I got some there. And there's a couple there that I've never used, so I'll probably be doing some, uh, some videos in the spring on those baits individually. Maybe we'll get some underwater footage of what they look like when they're swimming. So we'll check that out. All right, so... If you've watched my channel, you knew I, you know I do a lot of bank fishing, right? And um, so I don't have a boat. I have, a, I have some kayaks now, but uh, most of the time I'm fishing from the bank. And I'm always like lugging around a big old tackle bag. And um, I've always wanted to get a tackle, like a backpack. That's what this is. It's a backpack. Um, but I've struggled to find them that have the big size. Um, and I don't remember what the sizes are. But uh, this size, it's like the 300 size. Yeah, 3750. The big size tackle boxes in them. Usually, you get them that'll fit this size tackle box. And I don't want that. I want one that will fit the big size because if I'm gonna go from my kayak to the bank or if I'm out fishing in my buddy's boat uh, to the bank, I don't wanna have to have different size boxes for my tackle backpack. So I, uh, I actually found this one. It's, um, actually my wife found it. Uh, we were looking at one last year, it was just orange. This has got some funky pattern on it, kind of a fish scale with some blue. The other one was just orange. It almost looked like a hunting backpack. Uh, but this is, I think it's waterproof, it appears to be. And then it's got this like drawstring so you can close up the top. Nothing fancy about it, it's just, enough room for four of these boxes. 
and you got a few other um, little pockets you can do some stuff with. So this this was pretty cool. I uh, I've been wanting one of these for a long time, so I was happy to finally pull the trigger on one of these. So we'll take this out in the springtime and see how we like it and let you guys know. It's a Plano brand. There's, um, I don't know, there's a lot of different brands out there, but this is the one that that uh, we looked at. Plano makes really good stuff, obviously. Um, but this is the one we picked. All right. Now, for the big purchase, okay? So I started fishing with a kayak like two years ago, and I can't believe that I waited so long to do so because it's not that expensive to get into kayak fishing. You can get a cheap kayak, fishing kayak to start with, for like 300 bucks or even less. And if you find a used one, you can get them for a hundred bucks. So uh, we did that a couple years ago. We just loved it. We um, invested, upgraded to some bigger kayaks, um, you know, with a lot more stability and, you know, a lot more ability to fish bigger lakes. Well, even though I do fish some bigger lakes with them, I fish so many gravel pits and ponds and stuff and these, uh, bodies of water that I'm fishing, they do not have maps. They don't have, they're not charted or anything. So I wanted to get a fishing, uh, or, uh, depth finder for my, for my fishing kayak. So I went ahead and picked up one of these. A Hummingbird Helix 5. So I did a bunch of research. Um, I know all the big brands that make depth finders make some really good stuff. This one just kind of seemed to be the one that I gravitated towards. Um, the thing I wanted to make sure that I had was the auto chart live. So this has auto chart live. I can go out to these little ponds and gravel pits that I fish and I can make a map of these lakes so I can actually know what I'm dealing with underneath the water. I can see, you know, the depth and the contours and the structure in the middle of the lake. I'm so used to fishing from the bank and not having electronics that it'll open up a whole new part of the lake for me. So this was pretty exciting to get. I'm super stoked. Uh, I cannot wait for the ice to melt so I can get on the water and start messing around with this thing. It does have down imaging. So it's a real clear picture of what you see under the water. Um, they have lots of fancier ones. I mean, they, you can get one with side imaging and just all kinds of crazy stuff. I didn't think I needed that. This actually was plenty fancy. <laughs> Um, it was it was uh, not too cheap, but it wasn't too terrible expensive either. So, all right, guys, that is the stuff that I purchased today. Um, just a, a good pile of stuff from the Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> Anybody who's into fishing knows that if you can get to a store like that and just pick up a pile of stuff, it's always a good time. And um, I don't always have the money to do it, so when I can do it, it's kind of like a little treat. So. Thanks for watching today. Like I said earlier, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and stick around for more great fishing videos.